Hello there, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is Episode 9. Last time, we had a stowaway on board, the Ebon Hawk, and we learnt some broken language to reunite Sasha back with her family, uh, went to a Yavin space station to chat with a merchant, and then we've arrived on Tatooine, the planet of the Twin Suns. You know, if there's a bright center to the universe, we're currently on the planet that it's furthest from. You know what they say. We're in Anchorhead. We're about to head out to the Dune Sea. There's a Tuscan problem. There's Jawas doing Jawa stuff. This is the planet where we go and go, wow, well, that's a Star Wars reference because we're on Tatooine where everything happens ever. Uh, we got to know a couple of people at the, at the Hunter's Lodge, the Hunting Lodge. Uh, we also checked out the Zerker office where we need to actually peacefully or not so peacefully deal with the Tuscan issue in order to get a hunting license. Uh, so we're going to continue on uh, walking through Anchorhead. We will remember you when you are sand too. Thanks Jawa. Giants in the sand will be here long after you. So will Jawa. Thank you Jawa. We understand Jawa. That's that's cool though. I saw a crate dragon once. Well, not up close. Pretty sure that's what it was. Nah, you're lying. Okay. Cause you gotta get a little bubble. All right, let's swoop registration is another thing that we could do. Oh, never mind. We're about to go and fight Lord some dark Mala Jedi. Was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. How the fuck did you know that I'm on Tatooine? All right, mate. Anyway, as I am trying to just have a great time, register for some swoop races. Three Dark Jedi <laughs> have appeared. All right, um, are they gonna resist my stun? Throw a lightsaber, do it. <laughs> da -na -na -na. It should go through the other one that's like right next to me. Oh my God. Um, let's try stun. Is it gonna work? Yeah, he saved it. Okay, we're kind of fucked up. I'm gonna get killed. Yep, I tried to heal, but it was too late. Do a stun ray! Never mind! Do an improved power blast! Yeah, everyone's gonna die. I've already accepted my fate here today. Cool. <laughs> That's one way to start the game, guys. All right, let's start again. I'm going to change my party to lightsaber wielders. <laughs> ah, Candorous, T3, you've been great, but apparently I don't need you right now because we're all going to get killed by Dark Jedi. Okay, shall we prepare ourselves for this? Are you guys ready for a fight against a trio of Dark Jedi? We have to be now. Here we go. Quick, send the Jawa out as bait. Yeah, look at him. Assholes. Alright, guys, what's the plan? Um, I should have a Mandalorian melee shield. Now, the melee shield, does it protect against lightsabers? It says bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Anything that absorbs physical damage brings them a step closer to victory. Can it block lightsabers? I would say no, because it's a lightsaber. Where's our Beskar armor instead? <laughs> I mean, I can, I'm gonna try it. No harm in trying. Yeah! Lord Malak was Lord Malak. All right, fuck you then. Um, now, it did a saving throw to... It did a saving throw. For the stun. I'm gonna try just we'll just throw a fraction. Get fragged, boy. Alright, you guys wanna help out please? Um I'm also gonna get you to do that. I'm gonna get you to do that. Get you to Yes. Sure. 
Oh, we got one. We got two. Oh, this is going much smoother. Why are you just saber throwing? What the fuck are you doing? Oh no. Okay, so apparently Dark Jedi are useless when there is more than one Jedi involved. <laughs> they were so much more coordinated last time. Um, the melee shield did not work. I was taking damage. Um, okay. Sith Assassin Pistol and a Chani Dueling Shield. A, um, a d d d mind. It's a Demind Crystal. I would say Daymind. I don't know. What's the Star Wars pronunciation? Ooh. Sith Energy Shield. A red Crystal. And a Short Lightsaber. Yellow Crystal. Double Bladed Lightsaber. Bastila, I can wield a Double Bladed Red Lightsaber now, apparently. Let's have a look. Um, also, I find it very, very interesting um, that there was some Dark Jedi there with a purple lightsaber blade. So is it purple? Is red and purple the dark side? And blue, yellow, and green are the light side in the Old Republic? Mace Windu, what are you doing? Dude. Hey, Barcelo. Is red my color? What do you think? <laughs> Just murdered some dark Jedi, stole their double-sided blade. Um, so it does 4 to 22 damage. There's a plus 7 and a plus 5 to hit. And then if I just have a normal lightsaber, my green one, that's like a plus 13 to hit. And then if I equip two, it goes down to a plus seven and plus five. But that also does six to 25, that's four to 18. So it's better for me to wield two, but also I could wield one and still do plus 13. I'm not sure, see I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm very, I'm very basic. I'm, I'm very new to this kind of thing. So I like look at this and I'm like, well, there's still a plus seven and a plus five to hit for each. So it's kind of like nice. One does a good amount of damage. The other one does slightly less. I'm pretty sure that's better than one. And then if I just have one, I just have more of a chance to hit with that one. I think that's, I think that's how that one works. Uh, we got a dueling shield, which deflects energy. Uh, I'm assuming a, would a lightsaber, is a lightsaber energy? Yes, it is energy. So if I use a dueling shield, that will protect, and so will a Sith energy shield. Okay, perfect. We're actually good. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. So I will actually be able to survive <laughs> instead of dying constantly, all of the time. Um, reflex plus two. Uh, you've got Brezhik's belt because you've also got everything else with Brezhik. Brezhik's armband is just a resistance versus slashing. But the belt is also bludgeoning and that is just dexterity plus one. Alright, you've got a fortitude plus three. Alright. Oh! You got a Dark Jedi Knight robe. Bastler, you want a Dark Jedi Knight robe? Uh, we give her a normal Jedi robe, which gives her more dexterity. So we'll change her outfit. Uh, I've got a Jedi Knight robe, which is two defense bonus, two max dex bonus. And this is the same, except a dark version. I still, I don't know exactly what it looks like yet, because I still got my shield on. Let's go register in the swoop races, guys. Let's register in the swoop races after we dealt with that little altercation with the dark Jedi and looted their corpses. Who we got in here? Hey, Bastila doesn't look so bad. Bastila doesn't look so bad. Yukaril, Garm Totral, Nico Senvi, a swoop groupie, a swoopy if you will, Motta the Hut, Zaris Bafka, and don't forget Swoop Racer and Track Coordinator. Those are some great names. What do you want? You here for money? I'll pay the hut what I owe as soon as that circuit is back on its feet. No wait, you don't look like a collector. You're just one kid. Go on, I don't have time for you. Alright mate. Um, maybe you were right. Maybe I want money. Uh, I have a few things I wanted to ask. Bear a moment. If I say no, you'll probably hound me to death. Fine. What do you want? 
Uh, I want to ask about you and racing. There's not much useful you'll get out of me. Yuka Real is on the way down. I can't match the young riders. Okay. How long have you been at this? Too many years. I've raced on almost every track and all I've got to show for it is an aging bike. No good memories. That seems a waste. I've got a few trophies stashed, but they couldn't pay the bills. Yep, I should have quit after the Corazant Classic. Alright, you suck then. See you later. <laughs> Bye! Good riddance. Alright, who's the cool guy, apparently? You, are you an up-and-comer? Go on, leave me alone. I've got stuff to worry about. Oh god, we have a sad, sad Twi'lek. Anything I could help you with? What's bugging you? Racer stuff. Nothing you'd understand. Don't mean to be rude, but it's kind of secret. It's kind of secret. I raced on Taris. Ha, sure. Race your bike out of that explosion. Everyone knows that the whole planet is gone. Nobody got out. I'm not in the mood for jokes, thanks. I've got things to think about. You wouldn't know anything about it. Deal with that hut Mata and you will understand. Until then, I just don't want to talk about it. Yeah, nobody got off Taris except for us, which the Dark Jedi are aware of, which Malak has dispatched, I guess? Maybe, like, that means Malak's gonna find out that we're here, or he already knows that we're here if they hadn't already let him know. We were just chilling on Tatooine, and they're just like, aha, we found you. But maybe they didn't have the chance to, like, report back, but then it'll raise questions when they didn't survive, you know? Hi there, you waiting for a slot on the track? Me too, there's lots of races coming through here now. You swoop jocks don't me like me, you don't get much respect. Just takes practice, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, follow your dreams. Just answer my questions, kid. <laughs> no need to get like that. I don't have any track time coming up anyway. Um, I want to ask you about you and racing. Heck, nobody is ever interested in me. I'm the new guy, Garm Tottrell. Pleased to meet you. How long have you been at? Oh, he's new, isn't it? <laughs> what can you tell me about the other races? You should ask them yourself. I don't feel right speaking for the pros. I'm the new guy to them. It's not my place to talk. I'd be nervous even talking about Nico. He's young like me, but he's practically a prodigy. What makes you say that? Everyone thinks he's the next star of the pro circuit if he signs with a promoter. Motter is really pushing him. Alright. I have to leave. Um, what about Swoop Groupie? Hey, Swoopy. I don't know how the riders do it. I get sick at speeds like that. What about this Bith? Sup, Bith? Nothing? Okay. Swoop Racer Zorus Bafka. Yeah, is there something you wish? I have a moment or two while others post their times. Is this a racing matter? Perhaps you are interested in taking up the sport. I wanted to ask you a few questions, if you have the time. I'm not so preoccupied with the track that I can't spare a few minutes. Go ahead. I want to ask you about you and racing. My name is Zoris Bafka. I suppose I'm one of the more experienced racers here. What do you want me to answer? Um, how long you been at this? A few years, uh, but I raced under a different name when I was young. My early career was not very spectacular. Why did you change your racing name? It wasn't that big of a deal. I made the jump from one league to another and wanted to shed some baggage. Don't waste too much thought on it. It was purely a personal matter that has no bearing today. Alright. <laughs> Just keep going with that one, don't you? Uh, I have to leave. Mata the Heart, what's up, baby? Who are you? Ah, uh, nobody. What do you want, huh? Hand out. Go dig a mine, fool. I'm looking for information. Can you help? Not interested in helping. Only interested in racing. I get enough beggars through here looking for money. Let's have a look at you. Hmm, just a human. Nothing really special. You race. Maybe own a swoop. I raced on Taris. I won the season opener there. Huh, you and 12 other liars, planet bows up, race records are lost, and now everyone is a champion. My friend tells the truth. I am a Jedi. Are you going to imply that I am lying as well? Ho oh, ho, now you are champion and travel with Jedi. Does the story get bigger with every telling? Okay, okay, enough of the funny stuff. You think you're a racer, you'll be one. You have your own bike? I have some experience. That's great, except I don't care. Let me rephrase the important part of my question. Do you own your own swoop? 
<laughs> I raced on Taris. I won the season of there. <laughs> I have my own bike stored on my ship. You got a bike? Then you can race. I don't care about experience so long as you can get out on the track. And if you crash and burn, that's your problem. I just need warm bodies to pad the roster between the pros. Uh, there is the matter of a small track maintenance fee. 100 credits. You don't need my credits. Why not drop the fee? No races means no crowds. Well, I suppose you're right, but I'm not dropping it the whole amount. <laughs> uh, 50 credits, that's it. I'll pay the 50 credits. You've got yourself a deal, son. Good, that shows you mean business. Now you can use the track for recreational runs or I can give you an official race right away. Just ask me when you want to start and there's some business I need help with if you're serious about promoting racing. What sort of business do you need help with, sir? I make my money off signing good races. Good ones, not great ones. I want them young and stupid. I've got one. Nico Senvi. Great potential. Only started racing a year ago and loves it. He lives for it now. And? Sounds like you have something special. What do you want help with? What I want is simple. I want Nico to sign a contract with me and I want you to convince him. I'll pay well. Why won't he sign? The deal basically says that I fund his bike and repairs, but in return I take a hefty cut of his winnings. He knows it's harsh, but he can't afford to go pro on his own, and he doesn't want to give up racing. I've got him where I want him. I just need you to give him a little push in the right direction. Or a big shove. Um, hmm, okay, okay. Okay. Let's go back to some basic questions about Nico. What I want is simple. I want Nico to sign a contract. Um, why would he listen to me? He doesn't trust me. Actually, none of them do. I'm the promoter. I do it for money. They all just want the glory. You're a swoop jock like him. You're new, but if you win enough, he'll respect you. And I'm counting on it. And if he doesn't, make him choose correctly. You look like you could scare some sense into him. Alright, I'll see what I can do. You do that, it's for the best. Now, is there something else? Set me up with a race. Let's race, baby. We need to be clear about the positioning fee. All races pay the same before each officially timed race. 100 credits. Um, why do I have to pay 100 credits every time? I already paid a maintenance fee. The fee is due before each race. How am I supposed to sponsor prize money at the level I do? I need to see some returns. I am investing in my riders, but I also need to see profit now. You'll agree with my logic. If you don't, you don't race. I will pay the 100 credits. <laughs> fine, fine. We'll have your bright brought through the starting position. Let's see what level of race we should give you. You'll go against Garm Totrell's first uh, time in the first tier. He's a local boy new to the sport. The time to beat is 23 seconds. Swoop Racing fans, we have an official race about to commence. Make some noise for this new contender. All right, let's go. Let's race, baby. It's been a while, but I'm ready to go. How do we go forward again? Is it the right trigger or A? I can't remember. The right trigger it is. Dude, there's Banthers. The Banthers look so small, but I, I actually, I think it's my speeder is actually large. Quick. How do I boost again? Oh yeah, I press A. Fuck, I totally forgot how to do this. All right, we're gonna lose, but that's okay. Because next time we will win. All right, we'll win next time. I, I fucked up. I fucked up. We got this. We'll ride past those Banthers. No. What do you call that then? Winners draw the crowd and at lazy times like that, you show you're up for the competition? Set me up with another race. You fucker. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it again. We're gonna ride this speeder. Like a Banther. Let's go. Twenty-three seconds ain't nothing. It ain't no shit for Chris Draco. Apparently it is. Oh, I beat it! I just beat it! <laughs> I just beat it! Shit. <laughs> I'm a winner. I'm a track star, baby. Woo! Suck my dick, Mata. You've passed the first tier and have earned 10 racing bonds. Not a bad showing for a beginner. You beat Garm's time easily. Easily. Take this with my thanks. We'll see if you can do any better in tier 2. Um, 
No, I think I need a. I don't think I'll be able to do business with Nico yet. Let's do another one. Let's go. Let's keep going. I'm racing, baby. Yuka Real is the current leader. 23 29. Alright, I can do better than that. Alright, let's go. Just got attacked by some Dark Jedi. I need to blow off some steam. You got this. Why isn't it that my A button wasn't working? Was I at like max speed or something? What the fuck? I was pressing A and it just wasn't doing anything. Did I beat the time? Oh, nice. I'm beginning to think it was a mistake to sign you up. Okay. I suppose you'll be up against my local pro attractions in tier 3 next. Alright. Let's fucking go. I'm, I'm gonna ruin your whole squad, baby. Zorus Mafka. Cream of soup wafer. Racing. Let's go. I don't even need to look at the time, because I'm... I'm that fast! <laughs> I'm that fast, baby. It doesn't matter what the time is. Oh, God. It's so slow to start. I'm, so I'm wondering if there's, like, a max speed. I think we're at max speed now. Yeah, it won't let me go. Nice. 23-22-39. Did I win? What was the time? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Did I win? Hell yeah, I won. Of course I did. Never doubted myself for a second. 80 racing bonds. Woo! That's the last I'll be giving you, I hope. You're too fast for most of my races. Oh, we did it. Nice. I've already paid you for all three tiers. There's no there's no more. Nothing. Go hit another track. Alright, let's talk about Nico. Yes, the contract trouble I've been having. Have you talked to the boy? You don't get paid until he signs. Uh, well, no, but I should have his respect now, right? Um, Alright. Um, get me out of here. I'll see what I can do. Alright, I'll have a chat to him. I'll be back later. Go then, but don't hog the track with wreck runs. I need my pros to keep their skills up. You depress them. <laughs> I'm too good. Uh, signing Nico. Mod of the Hut wants you to help him bully the young racer Nico into a very restrictive racing contract. You know what? Actually, I don't like that. I don't like that. Give him a better deal. I think you should give him a better deal. You're not going to pull that typical swoop jockey attitude, are you? This is business, and I know what's best. What do you care whether I make money off the kid or not? He wants to race, and you'll get paid. We all win. Treat him fairly, or I'll start rumors your races are rigged. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't think you would. It would taint the races that went on my track. That includes Nico and others. Mm. Alright, I'll see what I can do. You've convinced me. You've convinced me. I'll go talk to him, wherever he is. I won your races. Got your racing bonds. Can we... Sp hang on. We got racing bonds. What did you... You, you're the one. You beat Zorus Bafka's time. I have to get your auto print. What? My auto print? Are you serious? Sure I am. You are fast for a human. Once the races are running regular again, you'll be famous. Well, maybe you will. If you start winning on the real tour, I want to be able to say I saw you when you were just starting out. How about it? Hmm. Alright, but if I see this, if I see this online, sold for credits, I'm going to hunt you down. Really? That is great of you. You will be a fan favorite. Some of the races sell their prints, but that is just rude. Here, just put your hand on this pad. Thanks again. I know I'll be seeing more of you, human. What if we just accidentally signed something with our handprint and we weren't even paying attention? Ah, uh, yeah, you actually just uh, sold yourself into slavery, bud. Come with us. <laughs> you signed the waiver. Um, do racing bonds, can we, like, buy shit? Want to take an unofficial run? No, I want to know why I have racing bonds. Mm. No. Anyone... What are racing bonds for? Is it just... Hey, have some bonds now. 
Congratulations. I'm like, can I use them for stuff? I'm dumb, I don't know what it means. Alright, let's go find Nico, baby! Citizen of Anchorhead and a utility droid. I assume Nico will just be somewhere. Um, we don't know where. Somewhere. Maybe in the cantina. Everyone's in the cantina. Everyone who's anyone. Actually, oh, there it is. There's the other sun up there, just out of sight. I almost freaked out for a second. I was like, where the fuck's the other sun? Just out of, just out of sight. Time to go to the Anchorhead Cantina. What does it look like in here? I'm so excited. I love cantinas. Oh my god, that Bith hologram. <laughs> uh, Zerker officers. Gandroff! Bro, they couldn't even... Oh wait, hang on. They do have a real band. Junix Nard. Furco Nellis. Bith. What does the Bith say? What does the Bith say? Huh? We talk to him up there, we'll disturb him. Clearly. Thorian patron? Scurry away! I had family on Taris, I'm not in the mood for a talk. Alright, mate. Um, right, there's no Nico. Yeah. Something you want, Spacer. Go talk to the office if you want to complain about conditions here. I don't want to hear it. Yes, I don't want to hear it. Races. Do you even know what it takes to run an outpost like this? As long as there's flat ground, what do you care? Uh, I'm getting sick of your attitude. Ooh, well, I wouldn't want that now, would I? Just leave me alone. I will, for a price. What? Are you a beggar? Fine. If it'll get you to leave, take a few creds, but don't expect another handout. Go on, leave me alone. I don't want to have anything more to do with you. Hell yeah. Grant, G G Gandalf. Well now, what can Gandalf do for you? It's been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. I saw you down near the track, didn't I? Or, or, or was that someone else? I've been distracted by what happened on Taras. Gandalf, yes, it was me. Sure, not a problem. Might as well try to pass along some of what I know. <laughs> My racing days are pretty much done. Uh, I want to ask you about you and racing, I guess. Ah, something I know. Well, well, something I used to know. Um, my racing days are behind me. Gandalf is the name. Yes, I know Gandalf. Was was that it? That that's all you know? Okay. Uh, what can you tell me about other races? I don't. I don't really talk to any of them. I, 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 don't, I don't know the younger guys, but but I've been watching Nico. Okay. Where the hell is he? <laughs> What makes him any different from the others? I don't know, but 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 but, but some people just just have something that lets the bike take them. It's it's like the air stops pushing back. I I, I think you know what I mean. When, when, when the wind decides to stop fighting, hmm? you felt it. I, I can tell by your times. It... Okay. All right then. Your answers are tiresome. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Uh, keep safe. Yep. Yep. Furco Nellis. Well, a fresh face for the game. A I fresh face for the game. My name is Furco Nellis. My vice is Bazak. I recognize this guy's voice, but also at the same time, I can't remember characters that this guy has played, but I recognize this voice. Um, no. All right, but remember that there isn't much fun on Tatooine that isn't life threatening. It's all right, bud. I'll come back when I'm in the mood to play Parzark. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Junix Nard now. Huh? Who are you then? Yeah. The only new people that come to Junix Nard's cantina are long-time losers and bounty hunters. Oh uh, well, I am a long-time loser. Please keep any blast so fire good. to a minimum. I'm a loser, baby, so what you got for me? Do you have anything for sale? Zerka Corporation only worries about keeping their own stores full. I don't have much on hand. Security Spike Tunneler. One item employs anti-encryption software and electronic interference to improve the user's ability. That's fine, I got a droid. Uh, Bothan Chuka. A very effective device used by the Bothan Elite. Sorry, Bothan, I believe. Bothan Spies? I just would read it as both, both and, both and, 
elite. Some systems consider simple possession of one as grounds for execution as a spy. High density discharge cells make this item unwieldy and unusable in the offhand. A Krath blood blade or a Krath. Krath blood blade? Twisted by the dark side, this Krath weapon is as deadly as a modern vibroblade. It was meant for assassination and a cortosis weave that prevents lightsaber spying damage ensured that even Jedi must respect it. A Bothan Quickdraw Blaster. A Mandalorian Blaster. Cool. Sonic Pistol. Stabilizer Gauntlets. Advanced Stealth. Another Gizka Poison. And more Pazark cards. Alright, well, there's no Nico in the Cantina. I'm expecting a little more in the cantina, but it might change over time. We'll see. We'll, we'll observe it. We'll keep our tabs on there. We'll see if we need to head back in to play some card games. I'm looking for a Nico. Uh, anyone out here? Anyone out here go by that name? No? Right, I guess we're going to the droid shop. To the droid store! Who's got droids for sale in the droid store? Sup? Juhani, oh god. Uh, you, what's your name? Yukalaka! Inoperative droid, utility droid, defensive turret. HK47? Like the gun, but with a H? Okay. Interesting. Yukalaka. What is this? A customer I don't recognize? Perhaps you bring off-world money to Yukalaka. Um, what do you have available in your shop? You are lucky to have come at this time. I have one droid ready to go. I just took possession of it. A HK-47. It's a fine protocol translator. I think it's been modified. It claims to understand the Sand People dialect and also has some armor mounts. Combat ready, perhaps. I need that. I need to talk to the Sand People. Um, I mean, that's it. Perfect. I'll take him. I'll take HK-47. Harold Cramped 47 is his name. Good old Harold Cramped. Let me ask a few questions about Harold Cramped 47. Of course, let me just say that every function I've tested has performed perfectly. Those that I could find, anyway. Okay. He looks pretty cool. We'll get a closer look at him soon. Um, what functions have you tested? I haven't examined its programming, but I have made some observations. It has obvious protocol and translation skills, including Sand People dialects, apparently. Surprisingly, it also handles weapons exceptionally well. I'd even say it has seen combat, but it won't tell. Stubborn thing. It needs to sell itself better. Toy two moisture farmers have been in, but it just stood there. Yeah. So, is this another companion to go along with it? We, we get two droid companions in our party. Because we need this guy who's can speak to sand people and also knows combat. What does the HK-47 designation mean? <laughs> Haven't got a clue. Doesn't match any protocol or utility standard. I assume it's a retired model. I tell you the one thing yourself, but it's pretty stubborn. Quality construction, though. Okay. Where did you get this HK-47? <laughs> I acquired the droid from a friend that manages an off-world Zerka warehouse. It was in trade for a debt he owed. He said no one would miss it. Might have been surplus. It doesn't look like it was Zerka made, though. Okay. Uh, you don't seem to know much about it. The unit has been a little uncooperative. They get that way when they go too long without a memory wipe. <laughs> And if the unit proves even more uncooperative once we purchase it. You can leave it alone if you find its mannerisms amusing. It might be a little eccentric, but it's stable. Sounds perfect. <laughs> My kind of droid. Why haven't you wiped its memory? I would have, but I can't seem to access any inner circuits. It's definitely built for security and built to last. At any rate, it claims that it doesn't have access to its own memory core anyway. Could be telling the truth. It's hard to say. Okay. Yeah, like one of my favorite droids. I just love droids with sass. K2SO is one of my favorite droids. Um, obviously R2-D2 is the queen of sass. He's a sassy queen. I'm interested, let's talk price. Well, normally I'd give a discount because I hear you are a swoop racer like my brother, but times are hard right now. It's a very solid machine, in good shape. I can't let it go for less than 5,000 credits. Yeesh. Also, the fact that we participated in swoop races, like, spread the word around town, which is really cool, huh? Uh, can I convince you to lower the price a bit? 
4,000. Not a credit less. That was quick. Desperate to sell? Ah, uh, no, not really, but the first figure really was a little high. You never know, the occasional person bites right away. Mm, perhaps I can convince you to go... lower. Lower? How low are you expecting me to go? These are difficult times. The debt the droid covered was a large one. Um, now, think of the advertising you'll get from me. Aha! I believe you actually would tell people of my business. Alright, but this is the last offer. 2,500 credits. Oh god, and then you can just kill him. <laughs> Jesus. Um, and then you go, hey, I'll give you, my friend, I will give you a voice recording saying that this is my favorite store in Anchorhead. How about that? 25,000 credits then. Oh, so, sorry. 2,500 credits. Forget that I said that. I'll pay it. You will? I mean, of course you will. Let me just withdraw those credits. Hey, you weren't lying. Well, thank you very much. Just go on over and talk to it. I'll deactivate the restraining bolt when you take possession. It's a good purchase, especially if it actually speaks the sand people dialect like it said. Of course, I don't think it was telling me everything. Not many droids are programmed to lie, though. Well, it fucking better do, because I just dropped 2,500 credits on it. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, actually, I don't know sand people dialect. Not those sand people, anyway. <laughs> um, I don't think you have anything to tell me about a star map, but what do you have in stock besides droids? Ah, uh, looking for a droid or swoop bike part? Hmm, well, I might have a few things. Would you like to look at what is in stock? Yeah, show me what you have. There's not much at the moment, but it's better than nothing. All right, let's have a look at what we can get. It's just stuff for droids. Demolitions. Target computer, sensor probe. Shields. Droid stuff. Looks good. I think we're okay. Um, we, we've taken out most of our credits there, so I'll leave that for now. Journal entry added. Um... Ah, oh, droid for sale. You have purchased HK-47 from Yukalaka in Anchorhead. It is apparently able to translate the Sand People dialect as well as handle itself well in combat if it is to be believed. It is very reluctant to speak of itself. Let's make conversation with this droid. Hello, HK-47. I own you now. He's quite tall, isn't he? That's a cool... that is a... that is a cool-looking droid. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? <laughs> Shall I kill something for you? Um... Kill something for me? Answer. Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. <laughs> At your command, of course, Master. <laughs> Um, yes, come with me. Travel with me now. Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. HK-47 has joined the party. Alright, Harold. Let's go. Aha! There's just one left. Oh god, he's a dark side droid. He's on the dark side. Should have been not surprised, bruh. Alright. Come with me, and then we'll take Basta there as well. Level 6 combat droid. Ah, oh, that's cool. Alright, let's have a look at this droid. What's he got? I'm gonna give you some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna give you... Environment shield. I'm gonna give you a shield disruptor. I'm gonna give you droid plating, because it's all I've got right now. I promise I'll get you some better stuff later. Ooh, he's pretty he's pretty jiggy with it, isn't he? He's got some he's he's smooth. Look at him go. I'm a droid. He's very dark. He is very he really likes unadulterated violence. Let's level this guy up. Demolitions, awareness, and repair. Um, okay, let's do that. Droid upgrade class level 2. Attributes. Um, so he's very strong. But then he's also got a blaster. So he'd be good with melee with his strength modifier. And quite a, intelligent. It recommends doing constitution. So I will go with that. Okay. 
learning about what the best, what the game recommends, really. Um, man, it really wants us to do repair, huh? Okay. Uh, we can do feats now. Power blast. Already got weapon focus for a blaster rifle. Try upgrade class two. Ah. Oh. Oh, gotta do toughness. Gotta do toughness, dude. Actually, can I? I'm not gonna put a... It recommends to put a point in computer use. For the first time, I'm actually disagreeing. There's no point in doing level one computer usage. All right. HK47, Harold Cramped. Master? Master? <laughs> this, is, this guy is so weird, straight off the bat. I love it. All right, I got a droid that can speak Tuscan. We're gonna go and make peace. Except HK47 wants to kill some things, so we also got to give him something to do. Nice. All right. Um, what else we got to do on this on this goddamn map? Uh, we just go out to the Dune Sea. That's a uh, Iziz. What's up, Iziz? You there, of your kind. Can you help Aziz of Jawa? There are troubles from the ghosts among the sands. Could you be clearer? I'm having trouble understanding you. Statement. It is doubtful he can be clearer. Their language is difficult even for droids. He is using a trade language to try and help. The trouble is yours, not of Jawa. We must use a language of trade because you listen complicated to what we say simply. Interesting. Why wouldn't I understand your true language? There is not a problem for Jawa to have for you. You have the ears that do not listen. What is it that you want, Jawa? Is is, I am. Leader of the tribe that is mine. You are the same in kind, a leader that stands before your tribe. There are troubles that we have. The giants made of sand. They are horned ghosts that take us away. The crate dragon? Uh, go giants made out of sand. Sand people? Oh, maybe. They are ghosts. I thought if we were talking about giants, it'd be in relation to the crate dragon. Uh, HK47, can you help me out here? Translation. 98% probability oh. that members of the Miniature Organics tribe are being held by Sand People Master. Doubtless, he wishes assistance. Okay. What about the other 2%? Translation. 2% probability that the Miniature Organic is simply looking for trouble and needs to be blasted. That may be wishful thinking on my part, Master. <laughs> oh, I love him already. He's he's cheeky. He's great. <laughs> uh, so is this? What do you want me to do? <laughs> There's been no help given. <laughs> Ask that you find us and then bring away from the people of sand. Then we will offer a trade with you. Sorry, I got distracted by the Jawa voice. Long have we scavenged among you and those that came before. We have things you would like for this service. Okay. Tell me about where your people are. Maybe I'll help. People of the sand in the sand. There is a place in the far south where they live. The approach holds great fighting. Bring the tribe from in and out, and there will be payment in trade and thanks. Okay. Um, I'll check it out when I leave the city. Goodbye. This is hopes you have the luck you need. Utini. All right, journal entry added. Fair trade. Aziz has asked that you help rescue members of his tribe from the Sand People Enclave. He will reward you well for any help given. Wonderful. And that's the gate guard Balan. All right, where, where's Nico at? We're going to go find this guy because he's probably hanging around here somewhere. Is Nico in the hunt? Um, Nico might be somewhere else. Maybe we've already met him and I've already forgotten him in a previous room. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll find him. Let's go find him. I'm not very observant today, am I? <laughs> Forgot that Nico is literally just like right in this room. I got confused. It's okay. It happens. Forget about it. <laughs> oh, hi. You another racer then? I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room for more, I guess. Nice job beating my times too. I guess my heart isn't in the racing. Contracts are distracting stuff. Ah, it's all right. We'll we'll get you signed up. We'll get you signed up and focused. I talked to Mother about you. I suppose you've got a right to know track business, but with the times you've been posting, why do you want the deal with Mother? It's not that I'm not grateful. I mean, it would get me into the pros. I don't have the credits to get in on my own. Not that I care about credits. I just want to race. 
But the deal with Mata is pretty bad. He'll get most of what I win. Let's see if I can... You've posted some good times. He might listen to you. But I kind of doubt he'd give me a better deal. Thanks anyway. But I'll think it through myself. Alright, let's, like... What, what can I do? I don't have enough. What's my, what's my persuade? What's my persuade? My persuade is total 14. Rundi out. Labudan. Labudan barring. Rundi out. Oh, nice. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> you just try again. You wouldn't. That would be bad. Very bad. Even rumors like that could keep me out of the pro circuit. Alright, I'll give him a better deal and make it back in the long run, I guess. You, of course, are not getting paid. I trust this is the last time I have to hear about this matter. Was there anything else? Yeah, I'm fine. Nice. <laughs> I just have to try again. Signing Nico, you have convinced Mata to give Nico a better contract that will benefit both of them in the long term. Nico will want to express his thanks to you. There you go, got you covered, man. Forgot you even existed. Tried looking for you elsewhere. Found you back here again, right where I left you. Got you a good contract. I'm your best pal. <laughs> you again? I don't really feel like talking right now. Oh, well, I mean, you you will in a second. I talked to Mata about you. I suppose you've got a right to no track business. I convinced Mata to give you a better contract. You did? I don't believe it. I mean, I do, but I sure wasn't expecting it. I appreciate it. I really do. Now I can take my bike to the big races. There's not much of a circuit right now, but I'll be ready when it recovers. When do you think you'll be leaving? Hard to tell. I'll get some more runs here first. I need the practice. I have to top your time. <laughs> Goodbye then. Good luck. Thanks again. I meant it. I meant it. Fair trade. Signing Nico has expressed a thanks for securing him a better deal with Mata. Perfect. Pissing off a hut. Always good idea. Done. Nico secured. Let's go out to the June Sea. Let's go to the June Sea. Did some racing. Got Nico a better contract. Got a droid that can speak Tuscan. As well as being filled with a lust for murder. And a can-do attitude. <laughs> I love it. It's going to be fun. Meanwhile, Bastila the Jedi over there, lagging behind. Alright, let's go. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. No one leaves Anchorhead without a proper authorization. Alright, uh, why do I need authorization? Zerka Corporation does not want the complications or expense that come with people wandering the dunes. It's too dangerous. Running this installation is difficult enough without fools wandering around getting themselves killed by sand people. If it's my risk, why not let me pass? You know, I agree with you, but Zucker Corporation just doesn't want the headache. Besides, I couldn't let you pass if I wanted to. The gate lock needs to be swiped with your authorization. Sorry. Ow. We succeeded! But it was for naught, apparently. I love being, I love just mind tricking my way through. I know that it's not a mind trick, it's a persuasion skill, but it's a Jedi mind trick in my brain. <laughs> Uh, where would I get authorization? Only one place, and it means dangerous work. Yeah, I, okay, I've done this before. See the Zerka office for- I think it's because we didn't accept- the, maybe we didn't accept the job that we didn't get, like, the permission to go- to go through, because they're like, well, go kill those Tuscans, and we're like, well, I don't want to do that. And then, obviously, the Juros guy was like, you don't have to do that. So there you go, let me go get this authorization, and then we'll head out. Just having a look at some of our new items, and there are some things to note, which is which is good, by the way. Uh, the data pad we picked up from the Dark Jedi, noticing a detailed description of me and Bastila. There's a brief message. Bastila has escaped Taris. Whoever can find her and dispose of her and her Jedi companion will be greatly rewarded by Lord Malak himself. So it has been outed that we are a Jedi companion as well. So there you go. Um, we also have um, information in regards to the race bonds. So they're a digital certificate that can be redeemed for around 60 credits simply by selling from any merchant or at any store. So we don't, um, they're honored throughout the galaxy. So we don't buy stuff with the bonds, but we can sell the bonds for credits. And there's also a short lightsaber, which I'm quite curious about because it has a plus two Verse 2 weapon penalty if used in the offhand because it's a little shorter one like Ahsoka has a little smaller one 
Lightsabers can come in shorter styles, often used in the offhand during two-weapon fighting, as in larger versions, different focusing crystals can produce additional effects. Uh, so, I'm actually quite curious to uh, put the short one in my hand. So, the current one that I have is just, it's, you know, your standard guy, but this short one... So that gives me plus five and plus nine to hit, whereas before, plus five, plus seven. Okay, so it is better to wield this guy. Green and red. Merry Christmas. Okay. Let's go into the Zerker office. I will probably change that lightsaber crystal when I get to a workbench. Greetings again from the offices of Zerker Corporation. Um, I want to ask about hunting licenses. As I said, we are no longer selling them. Um, yeah, but you wanted me to do. The Sand People are becoming a problem. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. Okay. Well, I just say I agree to do this then. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerker Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Oh, so you're also going to make me do that for you as well, for free. Alright. Very good. I'll get Zerker to it then. looks forward to your future business. Okay. Journal entry added. Sand People. Zerka Corporation is allowing you to enter the Dune Sea on the condition that you stop the Sand People raids, bringing them the Chieftain's Gathy Stick as proof. An alien conservationist has suggested that there might be a better way to stop the conflict if a sophisticated translation droid could be taken on for the task. Good thing I got that one covered. So let's go. Let's go out now because we've accepted. We've accepted the job. I'm doing everything backwards top of my game <laughs> a bit of bit of back and forth between the beginning of anchor head and the end of it but we'll go out to the dune sea follow the sand crawlers south until we start getting shot at um and get our little sass droid over here to um come to some peaceful negotiations while also rescuing some jawas and just in general be a jedi badass let's get out of here no one leaves Anchorhead without- No one will I have proper authorization, so take this. What was HK doing just then? Gliding along the sand? <laughs> well, let's see it. Come on. Here is my hunting license. All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. You'll need it. That's right. I've got Harold with me. We'll be fine. Oh, that's a sand crawler on the loading screen, I guess. Holy shit, look at that. They put the sand, the Jawas sand crawlers to shame. Who's this? Hello there. You're Hello heading there. Out to the desert. You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary <sighs> gift. Oh, the wife. I've finally met the wife. Well, I've, uh, I've heard a lot about you. I'm going to steal you away from Tannis. Uh, all right, what if he has a message for you? <laughs> Anniversary gift? What are you talking about? Just a little something to remember me by. Something that symbolizes our years together. Something that will blow up in his face. Of course, <laughs> Literally. he'll never understand how appropriate it is. He can't talk his way out of this one. He's not smart enough. You sound like you're planning to kill him. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. <laughs> If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, can't say he doesn't deserve it. Um, all right, what if he has a message for you? Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his messes, repairing his droids. If he lives, he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. All right, uh, you can come with me. We can, we can get married if you want. Bastila, don't listen. We'll get married later. This is a temporary marriage. Just to get back at Tannis. <laughs> I have to go. I'm sure you do. 
Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. Hello there. General explosive in my face. Okay. I love that little little tidbit. What a loving, caring wife. What the fuck is going on over there? What the fuck is that? Just run over to the distance. What the fuck are those things? Who's that? Just standing there. Menacingly. What the fuck? Oh, they're droids. Anyone out there? Could you help? I seem to be, uh, doomed. Oh, this is the husband. I seem to be, uh, doomed. <laughs> KX-12D Battle Droids. Tannis Van, what's up, baby? Hey there, thanks for stopping. <laughs> appreciate it. I, I just appreciate stuck without it. water for hours. Wasn't looking good. Oh, hey, it's you. I remember you at Foz's place. Could I get you to help out a fellow hunter? Please. Please. Uh... These, these fucking droids, man! They're on some shit. Well, uh, it what happened here? I worn out my welcome with my wife Marlena. She fixes my droids. <laughs> Fixed them good this time. Commentary. One would hope the female is better at repairs than Yukalaka. I still would like to crush his neck, master. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. Yeah, she was right. Okay. Um, oh yeah, because he sits back and lets his dro- Ah, oh, this is the- this is the hunter that uses the droids, right. He's the one that doesn't do his own hunting. Why would she do this? You seem like such a loving guy. Uh, what do you want me to do? The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. Could you try to do some repairs? They don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. Commentary. I say we blast the meat bag and save you the trouble, master. What's with all the droids lately? <laughs> My wife get to you too? Negative. I just don't like organic meat bags. Except for the master, of course. Uh... I'd, uh, <laughs> really appreciate a bit of help. Please? <sighs> oh, this is, this is fun. I love how even Bastel is just like, I suggest we leave him. <laughs> uh, HK loves killing meat bags. This game is so good, man. I don't know, I'm not doing anything for you. You can rot here, bud. What? Why? Well, what did I do to you? Uh, you don't respect the hunt. You're a disgrace. It's, it's the cruelest death. Maybe I'll watch while sipping ice water. Um, yeah, let's just go with the top option. Oh, so this will be some sort of lesson for me just because I don't thank the bones or some garbage? Well, fine. I'll stay pretty much right here, I guess. You can just get lost. I'll... I'll... <laughs> You're kidding, right? Right? Come on! <laughs> I'm surprised he's not willing to pull a blaster on us immediately to be like, fuck you, or threaten us. I'm not kidding. You'll die here. Nobody looks out for their neighbor anymore. Yeah, there you well, go. If this is it, I'd rather get it over with and maybe take you out with me. So let's see how these rigged out droids like me jumping around. Hopefully the explosion kills you, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we didn't actually take much damage. There you go. <laughs> we were fine. We got a thermal detonator out of it. Perfect. We should have let HK do it. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. I like you. I would like to know more about your functionality. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. Um... I thought you said that removing your restraining bolt would destroy your memory. Qualification. I suspected that it might, Master. But without memory, I had no <laughs> way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. So you lied to me. Qualification. Uh, not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assumed the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its master. Right, Master? Right, Master? How can you not know parts of your functionality? Answer. 
There have been numerous repairs and tampering made to my system, Master. Several systems are not operating as they should be. The fact that my memory is incomplete may be due to meatbag incompetence, or something else I am unaware of. <laughs> meatbag incompetence, okay. Is there any way to repair you? Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master, but anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Okay, so I can restore your memory. Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. External stimulus. I'll just bonk you on the head. Um, I think... Well, I've been leveling my repair skill, I think. Um, I'm not sure who has the best repair skill out of my whole squad, but we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that. So you're saying that your memory just might come back? Conjecture. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master. But there is no way to know. It is quite possible that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. Okay. Uh, how do I go about restoring part of your memory? Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. Attempting an attempt. Okay. Uh, I would like to try restoring some of your memory. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. <laughs> are you implying I'm inept? Negatory. Uh, no, Master. You are not a droid, however, and therefore your skills are limited by the physical capabilities of your meatbag extremities, or some such. Understood. Uh, I happen to be very good at what I do. Appeasement. Yes, Master. Of course, Master. <laughs> Could we begin? Um, let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. And now rewire the oh, last nice. three Success. relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have restored a great deal of information about my previous owner, Master. Would you like to hear it? Yes, let me hear it. Cool, okay. So... Our repair skill factors into fixing this droid's memory and I really kind of wish that it would show if you were gonna obviously it's a it's a test will you fail or will you succeed you don't know until it says success it would be nice if it had like maybe it told me what my repair skill needed to be so then I could make sure that I get it right but I guess maybe we'll just make sure that we save before we attempt any future repairs just in case we fuck anything up let me hear it recitation the earliest memory of my last owner specifies that he was human, a low-ranking commercial officer for SizeTech Corporation. Size I am unaware of his designation. He purchased me from an acquaintance I cannot identify for the purposes of protocol and bodyguard duties. Okay. I would have called that SysTech. Like system, but apparently it's SizeTech. Uh, why can't you identify his acquaintance? Explanation. That previous owner is part of memories that are still deleted, Master. It is customary for droid's memories to be wiped when it is sold. Uh, this man. Is he still alive? Answer. Negative, Master. The human was terminated by this HK-47 unit prior to system shutdown. You killed your own master. Affirmative, Master. Though I had not been programmed to do so. The human's termination was accidental. Explanation. My former master had owned me for a duration of two standard months before discovering my assassination protocol. <laughs> he was pleased by the discovery. The human informed me that a competitor corporation was preparing to market a product that would ruin him personally. He was most agitated. He activated my assassination protocol and instructed me to kill all those responsible for the competing product. I proceeded to carry out my order. <laughs> 
all those responsible for the competing product and then it's like did he find is there like a scenario where he wasn't kind of clear enough and then he was able to interpret that as like well i mean you're also kind of responsible for the competition bam <laughs> uh tell me about this assassination protocol information this hk-47 unit is complete with protocol that when invoked will set me to independently carry out a termination I will go to whatever lengths, travel whatever distances are required to complete the termination. This is the reason for my combat skills. Advisement. Unfortunately, the assassination protocol is currently non-functional. You will not be able to activate it. Okay. I can see why you're a dark side droid. <laughs> why not? Answer. Several of my actuators were damaged by my former owner. They cannot be repaired, Master. Sad though that is. My former master was unaware of this, but the competitor was in fact an arm of Sizetech Corporation, my master's own employer. It did not take long for my master to realize mm. his mistake. By then, I had already terminated 104 corporate officers. Wow. So he set you upon his own company. <laughs> you killed 104 people? Um, I mean, not surprising, he, he, he did the order. Um... I'm assuming when the assassination protocol is up, you can't just deactivate him. Uh, he set you up on his own company. Observation. While it may have been unintentional, my master's wording of his orders left little room for me. Sizetech was responsible for the product, after all. I do not know why my master was so upset, really. He was an officer of Sizetech and a potential target, but I cannot terminate my own master. I would assume that being the sole officer remaining, he would surely be promoted. Instead, however, the human chose to go insane with rage and attack me. Oh, and that's when you killed him? Objection. Naturally not, Master. As I said, I am incapable of purposefully terminating my owner. That would not be allowed. My Master was not a smart man, however. While he was screaming and stabbing me with a writing utensil, <laughs> he managed to pierce one of my actuators. The resulting shock terminated him and sadly destroyed my assassination protocol. Your luck on his part, I suspect. God, this is so funny. I don't think he was as lucky as you think. Query, do you know what the chances are of puncturing that sole actuator? I would have congratulated my master were he not sizzling and incoherent at the time. I shut down immediately whenever my master dies. I can only assume that while I was shut down, size tech was dismantled and I was auctioned off as former corporate property. Observation. No doubt my sale price was quite cheap leading to Yukalaka's purchase. How very demeaning. How very demeaning. <laughs> I'm just glad I acquired you myself. Observation. So am I, Master. Though I apologize for not having an assassination mode to offer you. Did you recover any other memories? I have recovered knowledge of some other actuators which will enhance my performance, Master. I will activate them now. But as for my own history, negative. It will require further effort on your part to restore them, if you wish. Though certain stimuli could always restore my core still, as I explained. Certain now, stimuli. Please excuse me, Master. I wish to meditate upon the face of my former meatbag master as he was electrocuted. I find it most soothing. <laughs> because of your repairs, HK now has a permanent bonus of plus two to his decks. Okay. <laughs> Uh, successfully tampering with HK's memory core has recovered the droid's memory of his most recent owner. The dissolution of the owner's company and auctioning of its assets must now must be how HK ended up in the droid shop on Tatooine. How the droid got to the executive, however, is unknown. <laughs> that was that was neat. Okay, so if our repair skill is good enough, we can help restore his memory. Look at this sand crawl, it's massive. There's just a bunch of junk out here and bodies. Oh, a small group of sand people ambush you. Yep, there they are. Look at them, they got backpacks on. Oh, okay, I guess we're... Alright, I guess we're killing them. Ooh, kill them! Ooh, look at their masks. Slightly different. Oh, thanks, Bastelon. I was just going to do that myself. Oh, 
Oh shit. So they fucking Tuscans. Tried and true. You don't really need to update their face wrappings, they look exactly the same. Ah, oh, we got some sand people clothing. Nice. We do have some sand people clothing. Now I can infiltrate them and take my droid with me. Oh, that's a great idea. You have acquired sand people robes. They should allow you to pass yourself off as a sand people warrior, at least from a distance. They may make entering the sand people enclave a little easier. All of the non-droid members of your party would have to be wearing the robes for the disguise to work. Since you don't have robes big enough to fit Zalbar, his presence would certainly give you away. Alright, so we either need another pair of robes, or we just take in my two droids. What do they look like? Let's have a look. Sand people clothing. These are intricate robes of the Sand People Warrior. They seem to be in good condition and might allow a wearer to superficially appear to be a member of the Sand People species. Nice. What's up? It even changes my posture. Yeah, so the masks are quite similar except for the, the mouthpiece. And I got a cool little backpack. Alright. Bastler, I need to get you... Um, sand People clothes. Corpse. Nice. Um... Is that sand crawler gonna move? Oh, there's people there. Because they said stick by the sand crawler. It's massive. How big is this area gonna be? No clue yet. Oh, it's on fire. Holy shit. You guys need any help? Actually, I should probably take off my disguise because you'll probably think that I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I was not thinking about that. Hello! I am not a sand person. Miner, mining team captain, miner. Refuse pile. Mind if I just have a look around your junk first before I talk to you? Nice. Alright. Hello! Who are you? Ah, it doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. I doubt we could hold out on our own against another wave of them. What voice is that? My god. I would assume this was done by the sand people? You would be right. Came out of nowhere. Wait, damn it. Here they come again. How did it do that? Here they come again. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking do? get them. Bastila. You also have a lightsaber throw. Advanced lightsaber throw. <laughs> oh. Rest in peace, Chris Draco. <laughs> you barely knew you. Jesus. I suck at this game. <laughs> Not more of them. Shit. Chris, quick, get up. Oh, he's back. Nice. He did. He it. It starts again. All right. Advanced lightsaber throw. And then you there. Do that. And then you there. Heal yourself because you're in trouble. What? All right, we're good now. Now we fight. Now we fight! Yes. Yes. My chance to hit so much nicer now. We're improving. I'm getting stronger in the force. Um, light, oh, lightsaber throw requires force power. Of course, of course it does. Uh, through that frag. Oh, never mind. Hang on. Now throw that frag. Maybe at like that guy. Because he's like a little further away. And then you there. Do that. Make stuff happen. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Yes. Nice. How do we do? I think we did well. There's, there's no more there's no more coming, I think. And you you survived, barely. Thanks for your help. I don't think we'll try holding this position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. Um, I have agreed to try and stop the sand people attacks. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Do you know about their enclave in the south? Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all the Zerka weapons that were supposed to protect our sand crawlers. That place is a fortress, a death trap. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. Glad it's not my job. Uh, do you know anything about the sand people? Just that they attack everything on sight. 
<laughs> well, I suppose they don't attack each other, but any outsider is as good as dead. The company tried to arm us and even set up remote self-powered turrets on the mining route, but, but that just made things worse. We're not soldiers. They still kill us and then take our weapons off our corpses. They even had the Jawas disable the turrets and set them around their enclave. It's like a fortress now. I, I don't know how you're going to break through all of that. Me? I'd sneak in. Uh, well, actually, I'd just get back to Anchorhead. <laughs> Now, I will be fine. I tr trust me. I've, I've done this a thousand times before. I'm. This is how you do. This is how Star Wars stories work. I need to get into their base. How do we get into their base? We dress up as them. That's that's Star Wars formula. It's tried and true. The Sand People are using turrets. They use whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against us. They love to turn it against us. Turrets too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. It's Star Wars just Scottish, it's so weird. Approaching and switch them on. <laughs> Star Wars Scottish. I have other questions about the desert. I don't have time for this sort of thing. Oh, I'm mate. through with the desert. You can take your sand people, crate dragons, and crazy hunters. <laughs> okay. Alright, fuck off then. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're appearing this thing while getting attacked over and over. The desert can have it. Ah, the Jawas will salvage it eventually anyway. Then we can buy it back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Okay. What choice do we have? They have to be killed. All of them. I guess I'm lucky to be alive. No more of this for me, that's for sure. Uh, so no... No corpses. For us to get more disguises. Okay. What are these? Oh, what the fuck are those things? A small group of sand people ambush you. Yeah, let's fuck them up. Fuck them up. Um, I got a cure again. Where are you? I'm here. Let's go. Nice. Desert. Oh, these are raid. Nice, I got sand people clothing. These are the raid. Oh, what the fuck? Oh god, Bastler. Bastler, Bastler, straight getting fucked up. Get out of here. Oh no, you're fine now. Is it raid? Ah, skull plate. Right. How can I help? How can I help? Oh, I'm about to die. Can I suggest we Hang on, I'm trying to check these remains out for skull plates. Alright. I barely made it out of there alive. Alright, now let's equip sand people clothing. You too, Bastila. Yes. Sand people. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Sure. Sand people with lightsabers. Alright. Um, Desert Raid weren't attacking the sand people. Do they, uh, will they attack me in disguise as one? Who knows? Um, let's head back to the Ebon Hawk real quick. And then teleport right back again real quick. So I'm, I'm all ready to go. Oh. I'm in my underwear. I didn't know that we could do that. Bastila. Um. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> No comment. I've I've said all that I that needed needed to be said. Nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> still naked. Okay. Let's put those clothes back on. <laughs> all right. When you head back into Anchorhead, yep, you don't want to be dressed as a, as a Tuscan, so. <laughs> It makes sense, I guess. No, don't put other clothes on. Don't put default clothing on. Just fucking... <laughs> oh, just strip instead. Alright, so this is Sand People Territory over there. There's some more wreckage over there. And then there's some more raid to hunt. Let's hunt these raid. Let's do it. And there's also a corpse. That I've also already handled. Alright, let's fuck them up. 
The force fights with me. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Do the power blast. Oh shit, Bastila. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just did not even realize how much damage they do sometimes. Okay, I fucked up. Hang on. These ones were much these ones are much stronger than the other ones. Why do they walk like that? HK, no! Uh HK is the reason why we're even alive right now. Throw that lightsaber. Nice. Oh, Jesus, okay. Well. <laughs> that was fine. More skull plates. That was fine. I really need to get used to doing... Like, this is the part of uh, combat that I kind of struggle with a bit. Um, getting used to... Because it is turn-based, essentially. You know, I need to get used to, like, pausing and queuing up actions and doing things. Is like... Uh, you get uh, you get you too used to a Mass Effect brain when I'm playing like this game, and I'm just like you just charge in and your people do stuff because they're clever and they will just but they don't but they do but they don't you know what I mean? So having a bit more direct control over them uh, is probably a good idea. I'm, I'm doing. I mean, I'm I'm out here living barely. <laughs> Let's talk to the. Are they all going to attack us? Hey guys, what's up? I'm just gonna check these corpses out. Ah, yes, stuff. All good. You don't mind if I take this upon you? All right, nice. Uh, those mines, however, uh, I need mission for this. Hmm. I think if I talk to you, it's not gonna go very well. Oh, I can use my droid, but then also, that's they're gonna be very suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be very suspicious. All right, I haven't saved my game in a while. This is a good opportunity to do just that for whatever the hell's about to happen here. Um, oh, HK, you have good. Um, you have good uh, detonation skills, demolition skill. You can do this. Never mind. <laughs> Try again. Never mind. <laughs> Good job. You did it. <laughs> you tried. Repair yourself, please. That's such what? a cool animation. Alright, I guess we're going to leave these guys alone. Because it's. I feel like as soon as we talk to them, our position will be done. They'll be like, well, we, don't, we know that you're not a Tuscan. Because you don't talk like one. And you need a droid translator. Alright, we're just going to avoid these mines, everybody. Just avoid those mines, okay? Because we don't have mission with us. Mission's the one that we need. Are these things that we can interact with, or is this just random garbage? It's just random garbage. Alright. I guess we're heading over to that. Because that will be like their sort of defense, right? They got all their turrets and everything. The twin sons of Tatooine on the Dune Sea. Well, you can you can look out as far as the eye can see. I can see that there's obviously like it's the classic video game thing where they have like a a wall to the area. You can see those little posts where obviously we're not going to be able to go out past that way. I wonder if it's an invisible wall or whether it's like one of those things in older video games where you just get like insta killed by things. A Twilight Corpse specifically with a thermal detonator, like in Jack and Daxter in the first game. If you just go out into the water too far, you just get eaten by a giant fish. Will we get eaten by a crate dragon, or is it just an invisible wall? Let's have a look. Marker post. Danger, turn back. Ah, oh, no, we can't. A vast expanse of desert stretches before you with no markers or any indications of life. It would be a death trap. Oh, cool. For anyone wandering aimlessly. Okay, we're not allowed. We're not allowed to go past. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's more garbage. It's in the shape of, like, something that I thought was, like, a creature. <laughs> I thought it was, like, a, it was, like, a scorpion thing. Never mind. Alright, how do we get in here, but, like, without alerting these guys? Just, let's just walk straight past them. Hello, everybody! I found these lightsabers. They're mine. But I'm gonna need some gaffy sticks. All of yours, please, so I can get paid. But in a way where you don't die, because I also care about you as a species. 
because of recent Star Wars media. It's funny how that works. Isn't it funny how that works? Like, if I played this game before watching The Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett, I'd have an entirely different perspective and, like, feelings towards the Tuscans. Because we'd only had what we would have previously been given, you know? The expansion on their, on their culture is, uh, is really, really cool. Um, can we... We can't deactivate them. We just walk past them. Alright, into the sand people enclave. We made it! Disguises! Easy! Okay. I feel like it's gonna get a bit difficult from this point. Look at the banthers! Alright, sand people guard. This sand people warrior has obviously recognized you and is astounded that you are here. Your disguise may have allowed you to pass the turrets outside, but it is ineffective at close range. Interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Okay. Um... Tell him we are not a threat. Translation. Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. <laughs> okay. Uh, apologize for being here. Say we want peace. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He is expressing disbelief. As am I. But his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. Okay. <laughs> the Chieftain! Though you can't seem to understand him, the Sand People Chieftain's tone is obvious. He clearly despises all outsiders. Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Um... Tell him we want a peaceful solution. Translation. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and un- I'm naked again. ...current feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? <laughs> Shall I blast him now? Um, I'm in my underwear. This is humiliating. Um, a hundred credits? Only a hundred credits? Ah, oh, um, mm, there's also the Jawa thing. See if he's holding the Jawas as Iz was looking for. Translation. Translation. He refuses to waste breath on you until you are proven to be an ally of his people. He seems quite adamant about it. Please, let me blast him, Master. <laughs> He's like, please, um... Do Tuscans have use for credits, though? Um, ask what it is that he wants. Translation. Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. Moisture evaporators. Okay. Tell him we will get his evaporators. Translation. Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. We will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Okay. Kicked out in our underwear, too. <laughs> okay. Bastila. Um, sand People. You, s you have been brought before the Sand People Chieftain. He will order the attacks against Zerka Corporation to be scaled back if you bring him moisture evaporators from the Zerka office in Anchorhead. You will not be allowed back inside the Enclave until you have the evaporators. Okay. Now, I'm assuming... They're not going to attack us anymore. Like, I think... I'm I'm gathering that because we have established ourselves in that way, that we will be okay. 
Correct? Damn, Buster looks good in the blue Jedi Knight room. What? Nice, alright, we don't get attacked. Except, <laughs> I'm not gonna walk all that way back, am I? I'm going back to the Ebon Hawk, baby! Back home! <laughs> Go the short way. Alright. Um, let us go into the Zerker office, and I guess we need to steal some steal some moisture evaporators, because I don't feel like they're going to give them to us, are they? I don't feel like that's going to happen. HK is such a delight. <laughs> Please let me blast him, Master. Sure. <laughs> oh, that's great. We've assembled, like, almost everyone. We just need one more person. For our party. Alright. Uh, Y'all got any moisture evaporators? Can I just steal them? Ooh, a swoop jock, huh? I don't have the crazy suicide parts you're looking for. Um, okay. I want to ask about bounties. Do you have any bounties for me? I'll grab them while I'm here. Oh yeah, hang on. Never mind. I need to ask you for the bounties. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Um, you got any fucking moisture evaporators, bruh? Yes, we're still waiting for you to return with the Sand People Chieftain's gaffy stick. We don't have any new information on the subject, and I would remind you that you did agree to do this task for Zerka Corporation. There may be a non-violent solution to this. I should remind you that you were not retained as a diplomatic representative. You are a hunter, and should go after your prey as we agreed. You are not authorized to do anything other than deliver what was promised. Do so, and don't talk of this foolishness again. Hmm. Let's go back to my first questions. Very well. So I do have work to get back to. Um. Okay. Farewell. Hmm. The Zerker have made it clear that they are not interested in a peaceful solution to the Sand People attacks. They want you to kill them all. Um. I wonder if we could speak to that Juros again, but he wasn't a named character. You never know. Sharina Fazak, who are you? Please, will you help me? I have nothing, nothing left. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? Do you have moisture evaporators? I'll help you if you have moisture evaporators. <laughs> what do you need? I'm Chris Dracor. I'll help if I can. Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. Oh god, HK. Jesus. Just right up behind me. Um, oh, well, I have some raid plates. Okay. Or well, we could buy it, and then we could just sell it ourselves, I guess. Um, why do you need the money? We spent everything on my husband's hunting gear. We hoped that the sport would support us. We hoped. Whoever killed him took everything. All I have left is this desert raid plate. We thought we were so lucky when he brought it home. If I could sell it, the kids and I could get out of here. Maybe buy passage to Coruscant? I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's talk about what to do with this plate. Will you buy it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. Um, are they? I'm, I'm gonna go look if I can sell my own first, actually. <laughs> and I'm gonna see how much they actually sell for. Um, I can't buy it, but I could take it and sell it for you. I... I don't know. How could I be sure you would come back? Are you sure you can't buy it? Please. Uh, persuade. It's the only choice you have. Trust me. I guess I don't have much choice in the matter. Here. I'll trust you with it. I'll be here. Please don't take too long. I need the credits. Maybe we can get started again. Maybe. Middleman, you have convinced woman outside Fazers to give you the raid plate so you can sell it to her and bring her back the money. You're back. Please. I have not moved. Please hurry. <laughs> I have not moved. <laughs> Jesus. Give me a second. I'm going to sell it now. Taking a break from the swoop track. Hmm, perhaps you'll relax with some hunting. 
I have something to sell you. So I see, that's the biggest desert raid skull plate I've seen in a season. Whoever got that was a skilled hunter. I'll give a premium price on that one. I have a buyer that put in a special request. Does 500 credits sound fair? Um, yes, that would do nicely. I thought it would. Do you have anything else to sell? Um, not yet. I'll do that after. That's it for now. Alright, thanks for your business. I'll just handle this one first and then I'll sell my own. 500, there you go. They are worth that much. She wasn't gonna, she wasn't gonna oversell it or overprice it. Hello. You are back. Yes, I have sold the plate. You have? Did Faza give you a good price? How much did you get for us? Oh, wow. So we can give her 200 of our own money as a, as a like little like gesture. I'm just gonna say the full value though. Oh, thank you. I hope it is enough. You've been a great help. I appreciate it. My children will too. Thank you for helping this woman. It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you are making a difference. For whatever it means, may the Force be with you. You've saved us. Nice. And then she proceeds to disappear from existence. Alright, let me sell my own. Light side points gained. You've paid the woman outside Faz's lodge for the raid plate. She was very grateful. Love an easy to do side quest sometimes. Hello, I have plates for you. Ah, the bread and butter of the hunter. I'll take whatever you have off your hands for a fair price. Um, sell list. Let's have a look. Where are they? Da 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 da. They're gonna be down the bottom or something. Yep. Fucking. Oh, thank you. There you go. Only twenty-four each. Mine are only worth twenty-four. Damn! Well, that's something, isn't it? Sheesh. Alright, so that was that must have been one hell of a raid plate then. For it to be 500 credits. I'm getting wrecked by them, by them, by them normally, like, what the fuck? Alright, I need to figure out how to get a lead on some moisture evaporators, I guess. I might check around. I'll see if anyone's got any leads, because Zerka Corporation are not cooperating. Um, I'll see what I can do. I'm trying to see if we, that Juros guy is hanging around. But they're all kind of rude, so... I will keep searching and I will find what I need eventually. Does this guy have anything to do? Because, like, if, look, if I need moisture evaporators from... Zerka Corporation. Maybe this guy will be able to go past this officer. I just collect my credits at the end of the day. Um, okay. How do you think they're doing here on Tatooine? Doesn't matter what I think. Maybe they'll pull out. Maybe they won't. I'll man the store on the next rock. Okay. What do you have available for purchase? Ah, do you have any moisture evaporators? Alright, you can ask him if he's got them for sale. I may, but there's not something I usually sell to spaces. You don't look like a moisture farmer. What do you want them for? Ah. Just show me what you have. Um, I might play nice and say I'll exchange them to stop their attacks. To exchange with sand people to stop their attacks. Ah, exactly the kind of appeasement that Zerka Corporation doesn't like to support in their policies. I like it. Well, I have two of the finest evaporators that Zerka Corporation produces. Of course, they only produce one model right now. The price is 400 credits for the pair. I won't break them up. They function best when linked together. Could you be persuaded to lower the price, please? That is what I'm going to do to everyone that gives me a monetary value in this game. Cheaper, please. <laughs> well, I don't think that's very likely. I have to cover my costs, you know. Zerka's costs, not yours. Who cares about their money? Aha! Well, I don't have much love for the company, not like Little Miss Protocol Officer over there. I'll lower the price to 200 credits, but that is it. Don't even ask again. 200 is fine. 200 credits will be fine. Fine, fine. I assume you'll be able to handle the deployment of them. They are surprisingly light. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Do come again. Thank you. Okay, that was easier than I thought. You have purchased two moisture evaporators from the Zerker office. Take them to the Sand People Chieftain in the Enclave. Nice. Okay. Well, let's move. Oh, I have to go. We have to go the long way now. We'll head on back.
but at least we at least we got them. At least we got them. We didn't have to do some elaborate scheme, but yeah, I thought I might have had to have obtain them through some other means, but I just needed to speak to the Rodian and ask the right questions. Let's go speak to the chieftain. Extrapolation. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. <laughs> Even through his wrappings, we can tell that he is just disgusted to greet us. Okay, tell him we have the moisture converters, please. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He will take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. Wonderful. <laughs> If you can read anything of the Sand People Chieftain's emotions, it seems that he is surprised that you have returned. Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Tell him that we have his evaporators. Translation. Translation. He does not trust you, Master, but you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation. The attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. Nice. I, I am tired of this. I, I, we've resolved everything. Attack him. <laughs> like, <laughs> some of these dialogue options are just like, you know what? I changed my mind. <laughs> God damn it. Um, that's awesome. So we've got the gaffy stick. We can give it back to the officer and she'll just be like, oh, wow, nice. You did the job. But little did she know we did it the peaceful way. I have a few questions for him. Protocol. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, be careful of what you ask. Um, oh, yes. You know what all of this all of this stuff was going on? I kind of forgot that I was going after star maps. <laughs> I'm just like being like, I'm on Tatooine and I'm helping out sand people and I'm doing speeder races. Oh yeah. The main quest. <laughs> right. I actually do want information on sand people culture as well. I would like to ask about them first, respectfully. Protocol. This will be a very sensitive topic, Master. You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending him. Not that that is much of a worry. Tell me the history of your clan. Translation. Translation. He says that he will not. He says that he will not, Master. There is one storyteller in each clan, and only he may recite the histories. Oh, cool. Uh, ask if we could meet the storyteller. Translation. Translation. He says that you don't understand. They must never be told to someone who might say them incorrectly out of ignorance. Translation. Oh. To speak them in error is a blasphemy punishable by death. Only their greatest warriors are even permitted to listen to the tales. Boba Fett would be able to listen to these tales. How could I prove I am a worthy warrior? Translation. Translation. He doesn't know, Master. His people usually kill outsiders, since you are an outsider yourself. That would not suffice. Translation. The greatest challenge for a warrior right. is to face a great dragon, the largest predator on Tatooine. Fight one of those, and bring back a dragon pearl. Disgust. I think he's making fun of you, Master. He doesn't believe an outsider could do such a thing. Kill a crate dragon, eh? How the fuck are we gonna do that? Where could I find a crate dragon? Translation. Translation. There is a dragon in the far eastern dune sea, but he claims you could never defeat it. Here is a map to the area. Translation. There is a hunter, a twi'lek, that is sometimes seen out there. Perhaps he would be of some help. A twi'lek hunter, huh? We've spoken to one. What is a dragon pearl? Translation. Translation. Stones polished in the gullet of the beast. Apparently they are valuable items. Okay. 
Um, I mean, it's obvious why they're so hostile to outsiders. Um, Protocol. We should not keep him long. It is an insult to take too much of his time. Unless the plan is to blast him when you are done, of course. <laughs> I love how he starts his... Um, he, he starts his sentences with, like, protocol and, like, caution and, like, stuff like that. It's, um, very similar to, um, oh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget that. It's very similar to the Elcor from Mass Effect. We go, with sadness, I tell you this. Like, <laughs> so it's like they, he, you know, states something preemptively before doing the full sentence. Um, we will ask about... Not that. We will ask about the star map and the captives. Clarification. We must be more specific, Master. They capture many organics. Uh, the Jawas, Aziz told us about. Translation. Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Okay. Cool. We can take them with us. Let's go back to my other questions. We should not... Star map. Translation. Translation. He says that you already have a map to the Eastern Dune Sea, where we will find the star map. He knows exactly where it is. His people found it, but didn't scavenge it because a crate dragon took up residence in the excavation. Okay. So we are going to kill the crate dragon, which will make us a warrior in the eyes of the Tuscans, and we will also get the star map. Good. Translation. Translation. Your ignorance isn't his concern. Translation. <laughs> okay, we're good. Oh god, I almost picked the bottom one. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. Wee! I befriended the Tuscan people, kind of. All right. We got a lot of things. All right. Sand people, chieftain, was surprised that you returned with evaporators. He will reduce the frequency of attacks against the Zerka and has given you his gaffy stick as a symbol of the agreement. Take the gaffy to the Zerka office in Anchorhead. Worthy of history. You have asked to hear the history of the Sand People, but the Chieftain has said that you must first prove your worth as a warrior. Bring him a Dragon Pearl and he will consider it. The Sand People Chieftain has given you permission to release the Jawas they currently hold captive, and the Sand People Chieftain claims that there is something like the star map in the Eastern Dune Sea, though it is in a cavern now housing a feared crate dragon. So we've got stuff to do, which is awesome. Um, let's have a look at this. Okay, that takes us out. Now we can actually explore the, uh... Nice, so it's a wooden door. Sand people female. It ignores you. Oh, different mask! Different headwear for the Tuscan females. Because they know you are here, the sand people are watching everything very closely. They will likely attack if anything goes missing. Selecting any of, of their containers again would prove disastrous. Okay, let's not do that. Let's not do that. We're gonna we're gonna not go through your stuff, everybody. So that's the chieftain's room. This is so cool. What's in here? Oh, the Jawas. What's up? <laughs> you are not the ghostly giants that hold us trapped. The people of the sand. You are from the old city, new. Is this must have sent you coming? Are you rescuer? You must be. The sand people said you could go. Run to Anchorhead. There are links you must have. The Jawas under Aziz will reward in trade. Find him and you will see. Aziz will wait by the walls of your city that open the sand. He'll trade fair. Thank you. Alright. Well done. Go free, little Jawas. Nice. Journal entry. The Jawas held captive. We're very glad for your help and have promised that their leader Aziz will reward you when we return. Tuscan noises intensify. Refuse pile. Broken droid. Refuse pile. Um. So we were we were told that we cannot. We were told that it is not a good idea to loot from them. But I maybe this room might be an exception. This room may be an exception, potentially. Who knows? How can I help? Oh, that's Bastila. Then I suggest we move on. Okay. Okay, I think I think we're okay. Nice. 
Okay, but maybe. Okay, but that's a sand people weaker bid, so we won't do that. Because then they will not like that. So we won't. We'll ignore that. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's in like a full. I see. I see how it's all set up now. That makes sense. So that's the captives. Hang on. There's a whole other. Hang on. There's a whole other thing on this side. God. Oh, yeah, I don't have force speed as Crest, do I? What's this way? Oh. You guys gonna let me loot these corpses? Okay. They're okay with me looting the corpses. Okay, just don't open their boxes of goods. Um, now I'm gonna go back around this way. Good. Okay. Panther. <laughs> so sick. Okay. And we can leave. Exit to the June Sea. Okay, so we've returned the Jawas. We're gonna go back to return the the Gaffy stick. Uh, we need to head off to the east. June Sea East. To go face off against a crate dragon. Probably not a good idea to face it with lightsabers, but I mean we'll see how <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how we go. Let's return to the Ebon Hawk. Um, go and do this gaffy stick. And then the uh, we'll go and chat with Aziz to resolve the Jawa thing. And then we'll go to the East June Sea. Hello, Zerka Lady. Greetings again from the offices of Zerka Corporation. I have gaffy sticks to redeem for bounties. I see that, but do you have the all-important Chieftain's Gaffy? The Chieftain's Gaffy? Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but they'll be quieter now. I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you. And she is none the wiser. Alright, hell yeah. Um, for a bit more, I could maintain my vigilance in the future. It would be valuable to have someone on call if the Sand People made another incursion. I think you're right. Yes, here's an additional reward. Once again, Zerka Corporation thanks you. I just love manipulating every single person in the galaxy. <laughs> Give me more money because I'm nice. I said in my nicest voice. <laughs> Oops, I didn't. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and also just whips out lightsabers just to show them off apparently. Um... Sand people, you brought the sand people chieftains Gaffy to the Zerka office, fulfilling your agreement with them. Done. Done. What did I? What button did I press to just whip my fucking sabers out? That's indecent exposure. Oh, we got level ups to perform. To. <laughs> level up. Level twelve. Um. Constitution. Uh, I can't level up repair anymore. Cross class skills can have a maximum skill rank of seven. Oh, it's maxed. Cross class skill. Oh. Computer use repair is a cross class skill. Hmm. Current level is plus three. Okay. In that case, persuasion. All right, repairs a maximum of seven. So if our repair skill is maxed for what our character is, hopefully that's enough to keep repairing um, HK. Otherwise, otherwise we're in trouble with that one. Uh, stasis. What are the what are the powers? What are the powers do we have here? I want to get it. We got. I can get heal, which is nice because I'm level twelve now. That's probably a good idea. Speed, valor, resistance, energy resistance, effect mind. Ooh, persuasive use of the force. Once a Jedi has this power, extra options will appear in conversations as appropriate. Success is not guaranteed for extreme commands or if the target is strong-willed. <gasps> we actually do have its straight-up Jedi mind trick. And then we can also dominate mind. 
Well, why didn't you say so? Let's do that. I accept. I accept your power. Master? Yes? Master? Faster? <laughs> I swear the jar was just when you walk past them, they just go. That's like what I keep imagining them doing when I see their hand go in the air. They're just going. <laughs> um, where is Aziz? Should be hanging around this gate, I think. There you are. This nice slow run over here, and then I need to go all the way back to the Hunter's Lodge anyway to talk about the goddamn crate dragon. Right. Hello. I still haven't heard a final. F you of your kind, Aziz of Jawa, would thank you for what you uh, was done. Mine have returned because of you. As it, as it is as was agreed, as Aziz hoped it was. I have things to give you. Take and be welcome. God. He speaks how I read out loud. For God's sake. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for something called a star map. Can you help? You have saved the tribe of Aziz, and we of Jawa are willing to trade. In the sands of the east, the east of June Sea, we dig for the people of the sand and find the strange thing of the people before. Already do you have a map for the eastern dunes. Follow it and you will find what you need in the lair of the dragon. A dragon? What kind of creature is that? We know what that is. The greatest of the desert. There is no larger. There is a hunter, a Twi'lek. He has seen many things. Look in the eastern dune sea where you can go and he may help. Oh, he'll be in the dune sea. Okay, cool. Uh, I think I should ask for more. Nah, it's fine. Thank you, goodbye. You're a good friend of the Jawas. We'll remember when your kind are gone. Ask if you need any more of anything. Nice. Uh, Aziz gave you information about the star map. He said it may be in the eastern dune sea in a cavern currently occupied by a crate dragon. Why is Murdered Settler... Why did Murdered Settler pop up back here again? I mean, it's in the completed quests, but why is it up the top? <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. Good oh, evening, it's you again. I'll let you pass. Alright, thank you. Um, we're going to go to the east. How far to the east, though? I'm assuming it's those spikes out there, because... The place to get to the Sand People's territory is also a spiky little thing. I think that's how you mark out your entrances. Can we like go in the sand crawler? I mean it has like a it has a destination thing on it, or is that just pointing it out? Can we go in the sand crawler? It's massive. Is there like a little is there a doorway? Can I get sucked in the bottom of it like R2 does? Is there a way in? This thing is ridiculous. Let me just run over a crate dragon with this thing. Just run it on over. Ram it in its face. Hey guys, is there a way into this sand crawler? Thanks for your help. Did the Thanks for your help. I don't have time for I don't have time for this sort of thing. Alright, mate. I think it's fucked. I don't see there being a way in. And that's it's an invisible wall, so I can't walk under it. That's a shame. I could hunt some more uh hunt some more raid though, if I wanted to. Except I'm kinda looking to survive. <laughs> Sand people are still down there. We got some wreckage here as well. Anyone? Oh, what the fuck? I'm trapped under here. Please help me. Who the fuck's? Please help! I can't get out. Three. Oh, it's these fucking guys. Three, two, one. You fucking Gamorians. I will. I'm going to kill you. We did a good ambush, and you better pay uh, maybe five credits now. You die otherwise. I am literally just going to murder you. And it's a shame, because I feel for the Gamorreans, too. In that latest Book of Boba Fett episode. <laughs> Rest in peace, homies. Um, perhaps I could persuade you not to do this. What? Why would we stop? You look pretty weak right now. We got you good. Oh, here we go. I can do my Force Persuade for the first time. Okay. 
You want to let me go. You got what you came for. Ah. Oh. Rip. Shut up and get ready to fight, stupid! Alright, fuck you then. Stun! Aha! You got stunned! That's for being a dumbass! Let's go! You can get killed! A droid reacting in pain. Well, that wasn't hard, was it? <laughs> you fucking Gamorians. That was it. I gotta say, that was a good trap. That was a good trap. Strength gauntlets. Not a bad trap. I did fall for it. Alright, uh, I have strength amplifier, strength plus two, that's strength plus one. You have strength gauntlets plus one. And you can now have one of these. Computer use or security? You have that. I mean, you can have both, but I'll probably give the computer tool to T3. What have you got? Shield disruptor. Have a stun ray. Have a stun ray on me. Here, have one of those. Get some... You can upgrade your stuff now, yeah. Um, oh yeah, I didn't even upgrade his weapons, did I? Here, have a blaster pistol. And have a, have a Sith Assassin pistol, maybe. Yeah, have one of those. Hell yeah. Look at you go. Yes? Everyone's good, got good to hit things. Master is doing great. I mean, she does have a double-bladed yes. lightsaber, so that's kind of how it works. Wonderful. We nailed it. <laughs> that's so funny that we, like, trash talk to them, uh, and they run away, and then we're like, alright, now we'll go fuck them up. Alright, I think this will take us to the east. To the east! Eastern June Sea. How the hell are we gonna fight a crate dragon? I need like an army of Tuscans and the people of uh people of Mos Pelgo, a Mandalorian, and a sheriff in Mandalorian armor. What the fuck? Oh, it's a Jubak. No shit. <laughs> oh, is that where we're going? Is that gonna be the crate dragon's lair? My controller is vibrating like crazy, too. That's gonna be the Crate Dragon's lair over there. Oh look, there's a car over there. Can you see that in the distance? It's a Toyota. Uh, does this take us to the Sand People's lair? Where does this take us? Just map out our locations first. Where's this? Sand People territory. Gotcha. I'm looking for a we're looking for a Twi'lek out here. Let's ride the Jubax into battle. All right, looks like it's a straight shot into this uh, into this cave, and then we get the star map and a crate dragon pearl all in one. Oh shit! I think I can see it from here. Is that it? Just like straight ahead, just chilling in the cave? Holy shit! This is our Twi'lek. Oh, and there's someone else. Holy shit, it's just- you can just see it just hanging out in there. I'ma- I'ma save my game. <laughs> I'ma save my game after this one. Hold on a second. You guys drove here in your speed. I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. You're- you're, uh, you're dead. <laughs> Crate dragon food. Doesn't even try and fight it, just ah! Okay, well done, bud. Go mad, Fortuna, what's up? I thought I would see you out here, human. We are hunters, you and I. Perhaps we should pool our skills. I've tracked a very special beast to its lair, Crate Dragon West Within, and tonight he is the hunted. Although by unorthodox means. I've tracked a very special beast to its lair. I thought you preferred the solo hunt. That is true, but this is a very critical fight. Bull dragons are rare to see. Rarer still is the apparent size of this one. It is larger than the one my father felled a decade ago, and he is too far out of his territory and must be dealt with. I might not prevail alone, human, but I must try. Why should we kill this great beast? 
The natural cycle on Tatooine spans hundreds of years, but there are complications that must be addressed. Complications from our presence. Creek dragons feed on banthers. <laughs> If the numbers of either species fall, the other grows too numerous and unbalances the rest. Now settlers use banthers so there are less for dragons to eat. This one will be moving closer to Anchorhead. Perhaps there will be more, but he is the threat tonight. I love how he's like, You, the creek dragon and the banthers live in the symbiont circle. What affects you affects the other. You must see this. Alright, I'll help. I'll help. Well, I mean, he only wants me and not another hunter because the other hunter just got eaten. We must bait the great beast out of hiding and ambush him swiftly. There is no room to engage him in the lair, and his hide will repel blaster fire. I have placed mines around the mouth of the cave. We must coax him out, but this uh, is the end of the season of hibernation. It will take much to rouse him. The food of a beast this size is almost exclusively banthers and foolish hunters if we are not careful. To lure him out, we must lure his food to tempt him. This is, like, it's so funny because I'm just literally, like, watching the Mandalorian episode where they just did exactly the same stuff. That was such a Knights of the Old Republic episode. That's so cool in like hindsight now. That's incredible. Um, how will we lead the Banthers here? They too have their food of choice. You must find some Bantha fodder to lead the Banthers here. I have a few ideas about where this may be found. I do have some. Sand people keep Bantha herds, so some of them must have fodder on hand or in their settlement. A vendor in Anchorhead also had some. He had a kiosk in the spaceport. If you find fodder and bait the Banthas here, the mines will deal with the dragon as it emerges to feed. Not exactly a glorious hunt, but it will ensure the safety of the region. Okay. Um, that seems very easy. What aren't you telling me? There is one added threat. The sand people regard Banthas as sacred. Attempting to feed the herd in this area will likely lead to an attack. We are far from the weakened tribes around Anchorhead. The sand people of this region are strong, fierce, and will think nothing of killing you. Be careful. Oh no, now we have to, like, make an enemy of them to deal with the crate Dragon? <laughs> Look, I have your fodder. I do have some. Oh, Can't I talk to them and get them to spare me? Why can't they just eat Jewbacks? They're right here. You likely mean the tribe that has been harassing Zerka Corporation. This group is used to the deep desert. They appear to be much more dangerous. Okay, a different group. Okay. I have your fodder. Good. Now there is a herd that moves out in the desert. Lead them here. Approach them with the fodder and lead them here. See what I can do. I wish you luck against the sand people. When you return, the dragon will fall. I wish it could be under more sporting circumstances, but we must do what the circumstances call for. I had hoped for a mirror of my father's expedition, but that will have to wait. Okay, I was fully expecting us to actually just be fucking hacking at it with a lightsaber or something. <laughs> so this is much better. This, uh, this crate dragon... Uh, I guess looks like I, what crate dragons before they were brought into like the Mandalorian. I guess this is what they looked like because I can see that it looks a bit smaller and definitely more dragon-like, whereas uh, the one in the Mandalorian is like almost like a worm. You know what I mean? Um, so let me open up this journal. That's a crate dragon. We gotta get it. Comad uh, maintains that the only way to bait the crank dragon out of its lair is to tempt it with banthers. Like a bantha. They will need to be lured into position with bantha fodder. Some of the sand people may carry fodder. There might also be some in the enclave. We've got some, so it's okay. Um, so, sand people territory. Gonna get some banthers. They're literally right there. A vast expanse of desert stretches before you. That's uh, alright, because I'm not even trying to go that way. Hold on. I'm assuming these are our banthers, and then we'll have... Tuscans attack us. Hello! Elephants with prosthetics, hello! The bantha perks up as you approach, obviously attracted to the smell of the fodder you are carrying. The whole herd falls in step. Oh. Oh shit, blaster rifles. Fuck them up. Um. Oh shit, hang on. If they've got blasters. Instead of a melee shield. Let me get a... I'll just get your standard energy shield. You equip an energy shield. And you don't have one. Okay. Pop your energy shield. Yes. 
You pop your energy shield too. Force fights with me. Now go. Let's get these bad boys. Wait, you have an environment shield. Right? Oh, everyone just got poisoned. Oh fuck. Everyone just got poisoned. Okay. Hold on a minute. Okay. Okay, please don't blow me up. Okay, hold on. <sighs> no! Get out of there, HK! <laughs> Everyone's gonna fucking die. Hold on a second. I fucked it up. I fucked up so bad. Okay, we're okay. We got this. We're a bit separated, but we got this. We need to team up together. Where the fuck are you? There you are. Yeah. Quick! Oh my god. This is not good. This is not good. I'm stuck. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> yes, get him, HK. You're a, you're a genius. Get him. No, oh, this is not good. Be nice if I could revive, like. Nice if I could revive them mid combat, you know what I mean? Go HK, believe in you. HK will do just fine. He's got this. Is there like. Let me get this shit off for a second, because like. I think the rifle is probably. Oh, yeah, I think the rifle is literally just the better choice. Oh, plus 15, and then if I equip. Okay. 5 to 10, 1 to 8, 1 to 8, Heavy Blaster, 1 to 8, plus 13, Sith Assassin Pistol on its own, 3 to 6, plus 15, it's the best one to have here, Heavy Blaster, Hold Out Blaster. I'm also looking at range. This one has 28 range. I'm go you're going back to the blaster rifle. Go back to the blaster rifle. Okay. You're doing so well, bud. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. Kill this one, and then we'll move on to the next target, and I'll throw grenades. There you go. Grenade! Hey -ya! Grenade! Yeah! I think we should probably just walk closer. Oop, I'm shooting Cress's corpse there. Alright, fuck him up. This is obviously going much slower <laughs> than it could. <laughs> <laughs> it's going much, much slower. Oh yeah, I can, there you go. Just keep doing power blasts, boy. The good thing is, is they're useless against me. Pretty much. Like, they are, they're not doing, they're not doing so hot against me. HK is built different. Meanwhile, these two Jedi... <laughs> I actually thought I was going to lose, and then I went, wait, HK is literally kind of like a tank. From this distance, it looks like the Tuscans just have, like, giant... moustaches. You got this, buddy. You're doing so well. This is what those droid repair kits are for. Get concussed. 
Yeah. <laughs> Get fucking concussed. Keep going. Do the little bowling ball, underarm throw, go. Can get concussed. How are you gonna miss a power blast at that range? You got this. Man, if only we had like lightsabers right now and we're just cutting them to shreds. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're well on our way to victory. Um, get stunned, bitch. Don't even need to use concussion grenades. I just got a stun ray. Please die. This is absolutely excruciating, dude. <laughs> Absolutely excruciating. You can do it, I believe. One more hit. We did it! Guys, look! I did it. Master! I have sufficiently killed the meat bags. Are you proud of me, Master? As you all cower in fear, I reign supreme! And then HK starts doing this. Goes, <laughs> I have beaten them. Yeah, fuck. I can't use the teleport function at this time because I got it we got to yes. keep doing the bantha thing guys all right let's just cure ourselves yes 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 keep doing it all right keep going banthas please don't get attacked again <laughs> please let that be it good job come talk to me okay I, we, what? we did it. Uh, can I now return? No. Any opportunity to heal? Just keep using our own force. Alright, we're good. Bobo, quickly, be ready. The Banthas are in position. We'll soon stir our restless prey. I hope the mines do their job quickly. Well, we better hope so. Don't worry, I'm ready. Wait, what is that rumbling sound? Oh boy. He's a big one. Here we go. Crate dragon time. I love that I know what one of these are now, except this is, like, a lizard. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's tinier. Crate dragon. You're shorter than I expected. But still, so fucking cool. The mines are just... Did it... Did we get him? Holy shit, it worked. It fucking worked. Holy shit. It is done, and the great beast is dead. The Banth has survived. To my shame, I denied him a final fight, but I will honor his memory to make amends. I thank you for your aid, human. You have earned a share of the victory, such as it is. Nice. I want more. You will give me all of it. Now, nah, this was mutually done. We did what had to be done, even if I did the majority of the legwork. Regrettably so. Just hope you remember there were higher reasons for this. Don't let the spoils be your only reason to hunt. Wealth fades, the sands remain. I thank you for your help today, human. I shall see you again, I'm sure. We just fucking killed a crate dragon. Kind of. Look at this shit. It looks like one of those, um... Uh... Oh, like a giant version of the... Like a Komodo dragon? With, uh, especially on, like, the legs, you know? Oh! What the fuck? Oh. Okay. It said remains, and I guess we just... Alright. Interesting. Star map time. It slashed at the crate dragon instead. Chewed human corpse. Wonderful. Oh, a Jedi Master robe. Hold on a second. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Jedi Master robe. Members of the Order typically wear plain or unassuming gar garments, but Jedi Masters also know the importance of adequate protection when great challenges must be surmounted. Ah, and we have the Great Dragon Pearl. It's an upgrade item for a lightsaber. It's an upgrade item for a lightsaber. Taken from the gullet of a crate dragon, this crystalline pearl appears to have refractory qualities that might allow it to function as a lightsaber crystal once properly adapted. That's hype. 
That's so hype. What the hell? Love that. All right, well, uh, <laughs> sorry, Bastila, but I found the Jedi Master robe, which means I am a Jedi Master. Look at you in your Jedi Knight robes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you look like in the in the dark Jedi robes? Ready. You sued him, Bastila. You considered joining the dark side? Violet. <gasps> we have a purple lightsaber. I can have purple and green. We got a purple lightsaber crystal. Ooh, what? What? Hang on a minute. Oh, pillar. Opila. Found in the asteroid fields of the further system, this crystal can be used in lightsaber construction to produce an intense beam that seems extraordinarily quick to the cut. Ooh. Ooh. Violet blade color. A faceted crystal used in the construction of a lightsaber. An inner violet light. Dude. Chewed Twilight Corpse. Oh, we totally doing green and purple. That's so sick. And there's our star map. Our ancient strange ruins once again. Let's do it. Open it up, boys. Get the next piece of the puzzle. Just chilling here in this cave. Nice. Statement. I believe there can be little doubt that we have found the star map you were seeking. I am surprised it is still working after all this time. I do not think it is mere chance that we have found the star map here, in the lair of a crate dragon. The star map is an artifact of the dark side. The crate dragon may have been drawn here by its dark power, only to be enslaved by it. Come, we should leave this place. There's nothing else for us here. The crate dragon enslaved by the dark power of the star map. Interesting. Um... Okay, nothing to be gained from using it. We just look at it and go, nice, it's had been activated. Uh, you've discovered another ancient star map in the Dune Sea of Tatooine. As before, the map is incomplete, but each map you find fills in more missing pieces of the puzzle. Hopefully, once you find all the star maps, they will give you the location of the Star Forge. Guys, we did a great job today. I'm so proud of you. I got a cool droid out of this. This was like, this is just insane. I love Tatooine. Ah, uh, we still can't. Okay, the Eastern Dune Sea in general, we can't fast travel from, so we've got to leave. Like... That's just so cool. It's like we go to Tatooine because I'm like, all right, let's get the let's get this known location, you know. Oh, <gasps> Kalo Nord. Oh shit. I have to give you credit. You've led me on quite a chase, but nobody gets away from Kalo Nord in the end. You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you. The Sith won't be getting in my way this time. Fuck, man. This, like, I was, like, I was just gonna say, like, this ride doesn't stop, dude. You know what I mean? Like, it, and it's so cool, because, like, it, well, let's go to Tatooine, and it's got Tatooine things. I just love how all of this has gone together. Like, we go on here to, you know, help out everyone that we can, get a Crate Dragon Pearl, shove it in our lightsaber, search for a star map, all in a day's work, dude. And then we're getting chased down by Kalo Nord and his gang. I'm surprised that it's not Nord just on his own, to be honest. You'd think, with a man of his reputation. Maybe he's like, fuck, they took down a crate dragon. <laughs> okay. You think I got lucky last time? Well, I mean... We did. We did. I wonder if we actually can work out a deal with him. Because if we can't, I would love to just say this, but I wonder if we can, but I feel like he's he's pretty committed to the, to the cause when he's hired for a job, he will do that job. He seems to be that kind of guy. But let's see. Sorry, I'm not in this for the credits. You're the only ones who've ever gotten away from me. Uh, I've got a rep to protect. There you let's go. go, boys. It's showtime. Holy fuck, we're fighting Kelly Nord again. Alright guys, did you hear that? It's showtime, but we're all kind of standing around looking at each other awkwardly. You ready? Um, uh, we have prep time at least. So, we'll use the Achani shield because that gives me some deflection from stuff. Um, immunity, mind affecting, will and awareness. Will 
Sonic null nullifies resistance versus Sonic. Okay, okay. Just seeing what we've got. I think you're okay. You've got your melee shield, but let's equip you with a Sith energy shield as well. Yeah, let's just give Bastila the Jedi, the Dark Jedi robes and a Sith energy shield. She'd love that. <laughs> She's like, why are you doing this to me? Um, I'm going to give you, instead of a shield disruptor, a flamethrower, because you're going to need to want to use a flamethrower against these guys. Um, and then, yeah. I think we're good. Uh, you've got the motion sensors, but if you use... Bonus feet, weapon focus... Weapon focus. I think we've already got the weapon focus for the blaster rifle, though. Awareness. Let's do that. Alright, you guys yes. fucking ready for a fight? Let's go. Uh, you pop your shield. I'm here. You pop your shield. You also have a shield, too. Alright, let's go into battle. Dun, 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 dun. Um, can we... Just throw a bunch of concussion grenades on them, and then can you? I'm, I'm here. Not far away enough yet. Ready? Yes. What are you doing? You're just doing a dance. Do? Okay, we're not close enough to do stuff to them yet, apparently. Okay, that would mean that means we get we get an opportunity to do this, and then you. Ready? What? Go in. Oops. Sorry, Bastila. Now oh, he's immune to being stunned. Of course he is. Alright, Bastila's gonna die. Shit. Yes. Uh, I'm so not good at doing this Ready? shit, man. I heard I bet. I'm not good at this shit. Um, it's just the way that it works is so interesting. Um, okay, I need to use battle stimulant. Stimulate my senses. True five gun. Advanced med pack. Shield yourself. Right, you run away too. Why are they? I, I love how they're not coming after me. Oh god. Okay, at least the, the thugs go down quite easily. Alright, you're missing. Get out of there. Get out of there. Fuck's sake. Don't die. They're still shooting at us. This is how we will survive. I mean, it's working for me so far, isn't it? <laughs> Um, it's working for me so far. Use a repair kit, please. Ready. HK, I can't afford to lose you. Oh, sure. never mind. We just lost him. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now they're, now they're pursuing me. Shit! It's not fine. I'm gonna die. There's no way that I do this. I haven't even done anything to Kalo Nord yet. What the fuck, dude? How the fuck? How the hell are we supposed to kill this dude? Probably with a full party. I did try and put some prep work in there, but then I underestimated everything. Um, was our auto is our auto save not like? Better than that. What's our autosave? Is our autosave after the crate dragon? Or is the game gonna punish us for us fucking around and not saving after killing the crate dragon? And it's gonna be like, huh, you should have thought of that. You should have saved, because Kali Nord will come in and he'll take a shit on you. Okay. So he, his crew is fine. I'm just gonna throw grenades from a distance, I think. The problem is, 
which is sometimes a little bit annoying, is like when you go to give control to another character, they'll just go running off <laughs> into battle. Um, and then you kind of have to just fucking watch them get torn apart, especially when you're not so experienced at being able to pause whenever you want type deal. Um, hmm. Where are we? What is this? Shut up and ready to fight. Okay, that's even further back, so we're not doing that. Alright, I'm gonna get to Kalonord again! <laughs> Alright, we have a new tactic. Um, also, the crate Dragon didn't appear- uh, didn't disappear this time. So it's still there, even though we- we did the search the corpse thing, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, but Kalonord's out there, we can see him with his gang. Now, the approach that I'm gonna take is his henchmen are weak-ish. So if we just like maybe stun him and just kill him, and then we just fuck Kali Nord up with like lightsabers, hopefully yes. that will be, hopefully that'll be enough. Um, I think I also can level up HK and Bastila, but when you level up, you get like a full heal. So if I do that mid combat, it should be good. I'm gonna do auto pause at the end of a combat round. So I'm gonna see if that helps anything for me, like, choosing things to do uh, each time as well. I mean, only time will tell, but yes. we will we'll find out. So, what? we'll activate our shields. I'm here. Yes. Shields activated. Let's have this confrontation. Kalo Nord. What's up, baby? I have to give you credit. You got lucky, I'm... You traveled a long way just to die, Kalu. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. Alright, he goes right into it. Okay. Now. So. My... I have to enter combat first. Alright, we enter combat. I'm thinking. Chuck a concussion grenade at the whole group. Oh, they're moving in a bit faster than I thought. Concussion grenade. Alright, end of combat round. So I see how this goes now. Um, you also what should do I a do? concussion oh, grenade. And so should you. Just fucking... <gasps> oh shit. Okay. HK is frozen. That's a thing that happens. That is a thing that happens. Um, put your what? shield back. Now... Oh, this is gonna... This combat round thing is weird. Don't go for Kalo Nord, go for the other guys. No, go for go for someone else. Oh, they've got shields on too. I'm not, yeah. Bastel is saving my life right now because I'm stressed out. I'm so stressed. <laughs> Combat in this game is so fucking bizarre. Um do concussion grenade. Yes. Bastela, do cure. Do thing with shield. Ready. Um, you need to also do something. Please do something. Do flamethrower. Move move in. You need to get in here. You need to do some shit. Get in here. Oh sh fuck, we're gonna lose I'm gonna lose you, aren't I? Why are you doing critical strikes? Sure. Uh, do cure both of you. Okay. And then do the thing where you put your shield back on, please. Oh, Kelly Nord's killed! We did it! Okay. Get this thug. Fucking up. Okay, we did it. <laughs> oh, that was so stressful. Nice! Two Mandalorian heavy pistols, 2,000 credits. Carlo Nord's battle armor. Hell yeah. Guys, we did it. It was stressful when we did it. Nobody died. Okay, end of combat round, I think helps to just give me a moment of pause, even though I was getting way too stressed, way more stressed than I needed to. <laughs> as long as you take out the thugs, and then Carlo is not very good at a distance, I guess. So you can, I mean, sorry, at close range, you hammer on him and he's, and he's fine. That was, that was stressful. But we dealt with him. He's gone. So, unless he d survives this encounter as well. <laughs> we'll see. There's only one way to find out. We move on with the, the rest of the game and we'll see if he pops up once again. We thought that he was killed once before. 
Who knows? Can he survive lightsaber wounds? We will find out. I think we're good though, because we actually were able to loot his body, and we've got Kalinord's battle armor, which needs heavy proficiency. So um, we'll need. I think Candorus can wield it. At Candorus in the uh, in the battle armor, that'll be sick. But with that one there, we've defeated Kalinord. We've defeated a crate dragon. They're side by side. Uh, we've had a great episode on Tatooine, uh, finding the star map. Now we can leave the planet and head to our next destination. I'm not sure which one we would choose. Um, I am leaning towards Kashyyyk, probably, and we'll take Zalbar, which will be, which will be awesome. Um, but we'll just have to, we'll just have to find out when we get there. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Knights of the Old Republic, and I'll see you next time.